boy. Yeah, tough time for the blacks. I'm not gonna say nothing about the police. I'll, I'll leave that for Chris Rock. <laughs> Another big sports story was fucking Ray Rice's tape. Anyone see that Ray Rice tape? I can't stop watching it. It's fucking awful. That's the most violent thing I've seen happen to a woman that was shot in color. Really fucking bad. Like, if I could have froze time at that moment and gave Ray Rice some advice, I don't think there's any way possible I'd be like, you should punch her in the face. It's a fucking terrible idea. At the same time, I also believe she shouldn't have rushed him. Uh, what the fuck was he like? Yo, you can't beat him, miss. Don't rush him, motherfucker. That's trained to stiff on people in the clutch. He's gonna get the upper hand. The only reason I bring him up is because, you know, he's about to play football again. You didn't know that? The NFL was told by a federal judge they had to reinstate Ray Rice because he was transparent with their investigation. He told them exactly what he did. And they can't just change your ruling just because the tape came out. I get it. That's like if I'm hanging out with my buddies and I'm like, hey guys, guess what I did last night? I fucked this big fat girl I met at the club. And they're all like, oh shit, Dave, that's crazy. And then they see a tape of me doing it and they're like, we can't hang out with you anymore, guys. That's not what this crew was all about. I'd be like, what? I told y'all what I did. What's really fucked up is the tape was made before they were married. Isn't that weird? I don't know why she'd do that. I don't even know why he would do that. As a guy, would you want to live with a woman that you had once punched in the face with all your strength? That's some very bold color purple type shit. Siri, come out here and shave me. Out of your fucking mind. I had to ask an older friend of mine just to get some perspective. This older black dude. Actually, the fairest person I've ever met. And I asked him, I just, I just said, hey man, I said, did you see that Ray Rice video? And instantly he was like, David, that shit was disgusting. And then a moment later he goes, I wonder what she said to him. I don't think that matters. I think the idea is you're not supposed to punch her in the face. My wife says terrible shit to me. My wife once called me a pussy in front of dinner guests. I know, I started to get mad, but then I was like, fuck it, she's probably right. I am a pussy, I admit it. I'm soft and warm and persuasive like a real pussy. Right. And then I told her, I said, and if you don't take care of me properly, I might stink, like your pussy. <laughs> I always fight dirty at the Chappelle household. It's not a big deal. No, 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 no. If you want to get to the bottom of a matter of the heart, what, what you're supposed to do is ask a woman. Now, actually, there's two women that I know. They're both college professors in this little area I live in. And I meet them twice a week at Starbucks for coffee. Talk about important shit. <laughs> and I asked the girls who was in the coffee clutch. I said, yo, why y'all think that this woman stayed with Ray Rice? have to be punched her in the face with all the strength. <laughs> and one of my girlfriends said, David, you need to wake the fuck up. She's staying for the money. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute, because my other girlfriend was like, I disagree. I think that she actually loves him. And I said, wait a minute, ladies, you know what? I think that you're both right. And what I was doing when I said that was preserving the possibility of a threesome with these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I've been chipping away at this pussy one cup of coffee at a time for like four years. I was gonna throw all that hard work away with some Ray Rice shit. I don't care that much. I'm just being real. It's fucked up, man. It's a tough time for the blacks. I love you too. And then here comes the banana peel. I'm waiting on it. Like, you know that's how it starts. <laughs> I saw in the paper today. <laughs> I saw on the paper today that the guy that threw the banana at me got arrested again because he threw a banana at another motherfucker in a bar in Santa Fe. Look it up online after the show. He actually did that. And that guy was black too. I'm just saying. And you know what the guy said he did it at night? He said, I did it because Dave Chappelle is racist. So, nigga, that's not the best way to handle that if I am racist. What if Martin Luther King just went around throwing tuna casserole on white people? Would that, would that work? Huh? I seen your girl bubbling. She's drunk as hell, buddy. 
Listen, sir, I don't know what you're saying, but just take my advice. Get some water in her, or you're gonna have some dry pussy when you get home. <laughs> His dick's gonna be shaped the fuck up tomorrow. Santa Maria, who got a cigarette then? Anyone got a cigarette tomorrow? Uh, yeah, you, you fell out. Uh, yeah, please. Well, let me see this. This is a Marlboro menthol. This could have been anybody. <laughs> if it was a Newport, I'd be like a black dude threw that up. But a Marlboro menthol, that's one of them riddles. <laughs> is the word pussy offensive? All right, just checking, just checking. I asked that crowd when we was in Denver, I said, is the word pussy offensive? And the whole crowd said no, except for two people. One was a woman in the front, she's older than me, maybe around my age, uh, definitely a feminist. You know what I mean? Short haircut, plaid shirt, you know what I'm saying? And she didn't say it offended her. What she said is she said, I'm uncomfortable with that word. And I was like, really, you? Uh, and then before I could ask her why, there was one other guy, he was in the balcony. Now, I don't think he was saying this to me, but he said this. Everybody heard him say it. He goes, it's delicious. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard pussy called delicious before in my life. Now, this is not to say that it's bad, but it's definitely an acquired taste. I don't think any of us taste pussy our first time like... Oh, it needs something. You know, it's illegal for a gynecologist to say the word pussy. They can only say vagina or they can name individual parts medically, but they can never say shorthand, even if the gynecologist is a woman. I feel like if it's a woman gynecologist, it's cool. Like, am I right? She's like, girl, that pussy is. <laughs> I don't think men should be allowed to be gynecologists. That shit is a conflict of interest. Even when my wife was pregnant, we used to go to the gynecologist. <laughs> And he'd put her legs up in that stirrup like this. He'd be like, all right, Mr. Chappelle, just try to relax. I'd push it. Back up, motherfucker, I got this. Just tell me what to look for. <laughs> One of those home-style checkups. There's too many ethical questions when men do that. Like, can a, can a gynecologist lose their license for smelling their fingers during an exam? Is that, is that illegal? How could they not? These are men. It's like if you have a good barbecue, you don't even think about it. You just... <laughs> the word pussy is only offensive if you're older. People my age and younger, I don't think we even... We dance to that shit. <laughs> the song come on the radio, it's I Beat the Pussy Up. That's on the radio. I Beat the Pussy Up. That's a pretty harsh song. It's like nothing like a love song. There's no tracks of his tears, no midnight trains to Georgia. This man simply beats the pussy up. Unbelievable. You don't even know if he's having sex with these women. They might just pull their pants down. He'd be like, bah! Gee, unit. <laughs> like, he'd be watching HBO. Hi, I'm Larry Merchant, standing here ringside with the pussy after a devastating bout with 50 Cent. Pussy, come over here and let me talk to you for a second. My God, you look terrible. Your lips seem to be swollen. You're bleeding a little bit. Tell me, pussy, what, what happened inside of that ring with 50? <sighs> I don't know, Larry. I felt really good in the first round. I was ready to fight. <laughs> It's warm and moist, and um, I don't know if you just hit it from angles I wasn't expecting. Front, left, backside surprised me the most. Well, pussy, let's take a look at round four. This is where it all went wrong for you. Here you come out of your corner, pussy. You're fighting really good. It looks like you got 50 with a right and a left, but then 50 slips you jab, and there, there, right there, you see that? He punches you right on that, um, that little bean thing you have on the top of your head. I don't know what that is. <laughs> There's 50 just pounding away at that bean over and over, and that pussy tell me what goes through a fighter's mind when their bean gets rattled around like that. <laughs> I don't think I was thinking anything, Larry. You know, I'm a real good defensive fighter. It's real hard to get to me. Uh, I've never been punched directly on my bean before. As a matter of fact, most fighters don't even know that bean exists. I guess he just hit me, then I lost control of my legs. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I like when Lil Wayne talks about pussy. Cause he, Little Wayne, remember Little Wayne used to have that song, he say, I got a bitch that plays movies in my jacuzzi. And then it goes like this. Pussy juicy. <laughs> that shit always makes me laugh. Cause never, no guy says that, you know? Only Little Wayne says some shit like that. If he was fucking a girl, she's like, is this pussy good? And I'm like, it's juicy. It's good. 
That's what you That's why I'm not Lil Wayne. Because if I was in a hot tub with a girl, and I could tell that the pussy was juicy while I was in the hot tub, I'd probably get out of the tub. I'm a germaphobe. I just picture Lil Wayne like, what is this strange oil floating in my hot tub water? It's pussy juice. That shit was so funny to me, I must have wrote like no less than 40 jokes with the punchline of pussy juice. And all of them work to some degree 100% of the time. I'll do one more just so you believe me, okay? All right, in this next piece, it's a special episode of CSI. For some reason, Lil Wayne is guest starring as the lead detective, okay? That's the setup, are you ready? Here it goes. Has anyone else been on this crime scene? No. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, this place is virtually undisturbed. No forced entry. No sign of a struggle. Shine your flashlight right here. Just stick at something. What is this? <laughs> what is this? It glistens in the light. Smooth to the touch. Everybody's mad about something. Recently, I got attacked online by some gay bloggers and it hurt my feelings. I have no problem with gay people, but I fucking hate bloggers. I'm not saying it because this person was gay, they was acting like a bitch online. They was like mischaracterizing my jokes trying to make a point off of me, when it's really, it's like, yo, I'm your ally, motherfucker. I'm not trying to stop gay people. I got better shit to do. This motherfucker was saying things to try to get gay people to beat me up. <laughs> Seriously, he was like, Dave Chappelle's jokes. I don't know how he actually talks when he's making his voice up. <laughs> Dave Chappelle's jokes or an affront to the manhood of all gay men. What the fuck does that mean? I didn't say anything that would allude to gay men not being men. I know you men. In fact, what could be manlier than fucking another guy in the ass? It's the most gangster shit I've ever heard of in my life. I told you I'm not cut out for that, I'm a pussy. said, that's all I said. First of all, I'll tell you right now what I said. Uh, and I will tell you that this was not a joke. It's a true story. And I just happened to tell it. All right, what happened was, I went to a gallery party. All right? I don't know who in here has ever been rich before. But these are very nice parties. Uh, you know, wine and cheese and ball of conversation. And there was a few eccentric types. One of which was a very wealthy man that happened to be wearing a dress. I don't know what you call him, man. He was, he was a tranny or dra a drag queen, perhaps. Whatever it was, it was definitely a man. And this man was definitely on drugs. I don't know what kind of drugs he's on, but I knew he had too much. He didn't look good. Just like this, he's like, ah. He looked sick. And all his friends were standing around him, concerned, trying to revive him. I don't know whether it looked like some kind of gay CPR, just fanning and shit. <laughs> like I saw all this from a distance. Now I should have minded my own business, but I got curious. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I went over there. All I said, I said, "Excuse me, gentlemen, gentlemen, is he okay?" And then they looked at me like I was evil. She is fine. Say word? Oh. 
I'm sorry, I didn't know this is what we were doing. Um, <laughs> here's my thing. I would support anybody's right to be whoever they feel like they are inside. I'm your ally in that. However, my question is, to what degree do I have to participate in your self-image? Is it fair that I have to change my whole pronoun game up for this motherfucker? That doesn't make sense. Seriously. If I put on an Argyle sweater and I'm like, hey everybody, I feel like a white guy in the sweater and I want some goddamn respect in a bank loan. It's not gonna work. Give a fuck how I feel, why does I give a fuck how you feel? Niggers are pro- Busted. Busted. Sassen. Mmm, F-square and the mix. We got to have to wait. We got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time. Time. He will answer your prayers. We got to have to wait. Wait. We got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time. Time. He will answer your prayers. He will answer your prayers. He will answer your prayers. Love it, it bust me for head. It did do me for body. The love it, it bust me for head. The love it, it bust me for head. It did do me for body. The love it, it bust me for head. Oh, it did bust me. It did bust me. They want to use your matter for so kaba. They want to use your case for kutaba. We got to have to wait, wait. We got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time. Time. He will answer your prayers. We got to have to wait, wait. We got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time. Time. He will answer your prayers. He will answer your prayers. We answer your prayers. You just they bless me. You just they bless me. Anyhow, you just they love me. You just they love me. Anyhow, you just they bless me. You just they bless me. Anyhow, you just they love me. You just they love me. Anyhow, anyhow, what's it? We got to have to wait, wait. Hey. we got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time, time. Hey. we will answer your prayers. We got to have to wait, wait. Hey. we got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time, time. Hey. we will answer your prayers. We will answer your prayers. We will answer your prayers. Busted. Mmm, F-square on the mix.